All right, uh, welcome to another lesson. Today's learning goal is I can use number lines and integer chips uh, to represent addition and subtraction of integers. And uh, the second learning goal is I can understand that uh, additive inverses are a number and its opposites. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so uh, in life, there are many things that are opposites. So for example, left and right, up and down, uh, offense, defense, morning, uh, night, uh, sunrise, sunset, um, and many others, uh, black, white, um, yeah, many other things that are opposites of one another. Okay. Uh, additive inverses are opposite. The word inverse uh, means opposite. So, uh, for example, uh, if uh, you've ever played the video game Halo, there is a setting called the inverse setting where if you use your controller and you go push it up, that means that you go down. And if you go uh, left or right, oh no, actually that's, that was fine. But if you go up and down, uh, so that you push up, your uh, player goes down. And if you uh, go down, your player looks up. Uh, another example of this is in uh, flying. Oops, let's not do that. Uh, flying. Uh, so uh, if you've ever seen in an airplane, a uh, fighter jet, uh, they control the fighter jet with like a stick, okay, and uh, that stick is called an inverse stick because if you push it forward or up, uh, the plane actually goes downward, okay, and then if you put it, pull it back, the plane goes upwards, or if you push it or pull down, uh, it goes upwards. So uh, that's called an inverse stick. <clears throat> so uh, inverse means opposite. And so uh, if you start at the bottom of the staircase, go up three steps and down three steps, where do you end up? Well, you obviously end up back at the bottom of the stairs. And if you start at the starting line and you take four steps to the left and then four steps to the right, you end up back at the starting line. Same thing if you deposit $10 into a bank account and withdraw $10, you end up with $0. If you start at zero and add seven and subtract seven, you end up back at seven. So the opposites, uh, they cancel each other out. And so I'm going to write that down because that's the most important part of it. Uh, they cancel each other out. Each other out. Okay. Other. Oops. Uh, out. I apologize. Here we go. Uh, out. Okay. So uh, here. Uh, we have some uh, whites and some black circles, and let the white circles represent plus one, and the black circles represent negative one. Uh, so we have a plus one and two negative ones, and they cross each other out if there's one to one, giving us our final answer of negative one. Uh, here we can do the same thing here. There are six uh, plus ones and four minus ones, so each minus one, <coughs> excuse me, uh, cancels out with each plus one. And at the end, uh, we find that our final amount is actually just two. Okay. Here we have five blacks, in, or negative ones, and uh, four whites, positive ones, uh, which means that we, this black cancels out with this one. This white cancels out with this one. This white cancels out with this one. And this white cancels out with this one, leaving us with one black, which means our final amount is negative one. Okay. Uh, so uh, down here, a number and its opposites are called additive inverses. Okay. Uh, and additive inverses sum to verse. Uh, additive inverses sum to zero. So negative three and three are additive inverses. Negative 1.5 and 1.5 are in additive inverses, and so forth and so on. Uh, to model this, we're going to use something called chips. Uh, we're going to pretend these are chips, like you know, poker chips, things like that, where the yellow one represents plus one and the orange one represents minus one. So here we have negative three plus four. So we're gonna have three of these orange ones. 
And underneath that, I'm going to put four of these. And as a result, uh, these three uh, orange ones will cancel out with these three yellow ones, like so. Doot, 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 giving us a final answer of one. Okay. Uh, let's try number three. We're going to skip around this because I don't think we need to do all of these for you guys to get it. Uh, this one is negative one plus negative five, so negative one. And underneath that, I'm going to do negative five. Two, three, four, and uh, five. Like that. Uh, we don't have any additive inverse uh, here because uh, there's no uh, plus one. So our final answer here is going to be negative six. Uh, let's skip all the way down to number eight. Now, number eight, we have negative three. So we're going to do negative one, two, three. Then we have two, one, two. Notice how I'm making different rows just because uh, I think that helps with the organization uh, and helps with canceling out later. We got negative one right here, so we got negative one, and then five. So underneath that, we're going to do one. If we can, we'll let us. One. Let's do it this. Uh, copy and paste. No, that's not going to work. One. I'm going to do this just to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and we can start canceling them out. So we go, this cancels with this. This cancels with that. This cancels with this. And this cancels with that, giving us our final answer of uh, Three. Okay. Uh, continuing on, that is for uh, the integer chips. Uh, we got number lines as well, uh, and this one is fairly simple. Uh, here we have. I'm going to use uh, again yellow for positives. I believe that's what it was, right? Yellows for positive. Yep. So uh, we start at negative uh, eight. So we're actually going to do negative. So we're going to use start using with orange. Uh, and we're going to start from net zero and show that we're going down to negative eight. Uh, and then we have a plus seven. So that means we are going to use yellow because that was our positives and start from negative eight backwards to seven spots to negative one, giving us our final answer of negative one. Uh, same thing down here. So let's go with, oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this, yay. Uh, so we're going to start with negative seven. So that is oops, uh, negative seven, going from zero to negative seven, to show that we started at zero, go to negative seven. And from negative seven, we're gonna continue going downwards and go from negative seven to negative nine. Okay, right there. Uh, so our final answer, of course, is going to be negative. Oops, that's not it. That's not what I want at all. I want this. There we go. Uh, negative nine. Okay. Uh, here again, we're going to start with a positive this time. So uh, we're going to go with yellow. And so we're going to start at five. So zero to five. And then we are going to go from uh, five down 12 steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, down to negative seven, giving us our final answer of negative seven. Okay, uh, so go ahead and try the practice on your own.